Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today, we are doing another ARC base discovery with my friend Dub. Dub, say what's up. Dub. <laughs> yeah, my, my fucking controller, my controller <laughs> died at like the worst fucking time, like no fucking lie. Did I miss my cue? Nah, nah, just say what's up. It's all good. Alright, hi. Controller died. My controller died. Uh, this is my base. I put a lot. Uh, yeah. Let's go check it out. Uh, let's start over. We'll start at the main part where I started first, like I was saying before. Are you in fly mode? I'll, I'll stay in fly mode so I can... Yeah, you might as well stay in fly mode. I'm oh. trying to get over to you. Um, yeah, because I'll, I'll just be zipping all around. We'll be playing tag all day here. <clears throat> Alright. So. Uh, obviously, this is the teleporter. And I put that centri centrally located just so I could walk anything from either my taming chamber or from this dino barn uh, right over to it. And this is obviously uh, the dino barn. And this is pretty much where I'm going to be keeping um, Rex's uh, things of interest. Um, it's all painted. Uh, it took me a long time to get the layout of this. Like, I got elevators here, so basically I can keep Rex's on the bottom, or I can keep Rex's uh, midway up, as you can see, on the top. Oh, that's cool. And these are all my nice fucking black and orange Rex's that I just got, like, right before, uh, uh well, not too long ago, I should say. Uh, I love that color. Yeah, it looks and, cool. And, uh, I think, what's up here? I don't even remember now. This is just like a generator. I tucked the generator uh, right up in this room right there. It's in the back. Nothing to it, really. Uh, what you're walking through, like, over the top of us, this is a bridge, actually, to get to the top part where I'll show you again, too. But we'll check all this out first. Yeah, so the, these are your Rexes. When are you going to show us your uh, George Michaels uh, CD collection? That's for after. Oh, That's okay. for when the kids go to bed. That's for gotcha. when the kids go to bed. But right now, it's just me and you, and I'm going to show you something. Maybe later on, we can do, like, some wham and karaoke or something. Keep it, keep it in your pants. Just keep it in your pants. <laughs> We're in the greenhouse. This is, this is, I always like to make nice greenhouses. Uh, this, this is, is very probably nice one of my favorite, one of my favorite greenhouse builds. See, now, this fucking thing, it's too far, it's too far pushed in right now, this Fioma. If its butt was sticking out this window, all you do is, you know, you make it poop, and the butt comes right out the hole like a shit ATM. I and thought it was got... more for, like, deliverance purposes. No. Well, yeah, it's a glory hole. It could be It could be that, too. Oh, okay. Well, but, that uh, explains a here's lot. Here's something that... This is something I do a lot. I like to fuse, like, bookshelves and tables together, which you obviously do, too. I saw on your table, like, you pretty much do the same thing. But these bookshelves fuse together real nice. Now, I got a question. You can make uh, them... I always wondered, um, you know how you feed the, the Fioma stem berries and they non-stop poop? Wouldn't you say that's, like, kind of like uh, Fioma abuse? Because their butthole has to be sore after pooping all those. I mean, it's their only job. It's job security, if nothing else. A hooker doesn't like being a hooker. Yeah. But, you know, she, she's got to pay the bills. Gotcha. I think hookers have bills. I'm pretty sure. Good analogy. Um, get in here. This is just the, this is not just the greenhouse. This is my beautiful greenhouse. This is where I all the good stuff's growing. I got a little bit of everything. Growing. Yeah, this is where all the good stuff's growing. I got beer going. Hey, look at that. My fucking preserving bin has stuff in it. That's amazing. So much good. spark powder is left. Oh, hey. Yep, so this is where I do kibble. These are all these fridges are fucking fully stocked with everything you could possibly need. Um, and yeah, it just came out real nice. I like the color, red and black. As much as it looks like I'm trying to be a Nazi, it still looks clean. So, red and black it is. 
So then we come over here. We can actually just, since we're ghosting, this is where you'd normally fall down, but we can go up right through here. This will take us to the next level. Are you still behind me? Yes, you are. Yeah. That's another generator tucked in there. I like to tuck. I don't like to show the generators off too much unless I have to. So then you come up through here, and then this is uh, like my smaller dino storage. Everything, obviously, I haven't been on this server very long, so I don't have a lot of dinos. Uh, I have enough. I caught this is this is the uh, albino uh, stego. I was telling you I caught yeah, it was a 145 cool. albino stego. It looks it just looked cool. Like I just wanted it. I don't give a fuck that it's a stego. I just wanted it. Um, over here was my first attempt at a sec. living quarter. Yep. I do GM buff. Oh yeah. It's getting hungry over here. Thirsty, one of the. Uh, is your you good now, though? Yeah, I'm straight. Okay. Straighter right. than so you. So then know. here, <laughs> we'll get into that later. Um, this is an elevator. This is one of the elevators I was showing you before that goes all the way down. So if we wanted to, we could have taken an elevator all the way from the bottom uh, up to like my living quarter here. That's pimping right uh, there. Hold on. That's what you got like a. Almost like a, yeah. I don't know. That's tight. That uh, penthouse. That it's desk penthouse. you got there. Oh, you like that, huh? Yeah, I, I really like messing. If I have nothing else uh, to do, uh, I just stick those desks like that. And oh, by the way, I'm stealing that yeah. idea. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, hopefully, it's not the only idea you steal. The rugs are kind of gay, but they work. I was I didn't even know rugs existed and somebody said we had throw rugs and I was like, get the fuck out of here. So I had to try it. Figured I'd try it in here. This oh. is like I made like three different living quarters, so this is the first of three. Yeah, it looks good. So then we come out here. But well, speaking of stealing stuff, then, I would steal your virginity, but Steve already stole it. I mean why do you have to keep bringing it up, though? It's weird that you're bringing it up. Like, just, it didn't happen for uh, you. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. So then this is this is the bridge before that we were in that the generator you can hear running. So this is just a bridge to get to the front. So now I think, uh, let's see. Let's do breeding house first, because I like the breeding house. We'll go this way. And then we'll circle back around and I'll show you the water pen and the uh, my taming prison that I've made. Here's a... I like this uh, forge setup. It's, yeah, it's hard cool. to get them to stay symmetrical, but I, I really like the vaults wrapped around like that. It actually, if you paint it the right way, it looks like it's actually like part of the fucking device itself. And uh, really pulls the room together. Uh, here's you where you do, like, do like a G.I. Joe stuff. emblem out of vault. You don't tell me what to do. Uh, so here's, yeah, here's where I do dragons. Hatching. That came out real clean. Hatching dragons, yep. That's cool. Uh, in like here, that. this is one of my more favorite breeding pens that I've built. Um, yeah, you get a view of it right there. Everything, everything has a purpose. Uh, here's again, like on the other server, like I was showing you here, are the incubators. So I have lots of air conditioners tucked under these like black ramps here, and that's where you plop the egg down. Oh, and okay. they walk right down off the ramp into the breeding pit. Uh, that's and cool. Then, yeah, um, I've never seen that before. Before you showed me that. That's dub original. I think, maybe, I don't know. I feel like I've seen it before, but maybe not the way I've done it, but anyway. So, uh, so this is your, basically up. your boom boom room in here, right? This is the boom boom room uh, here. I And then when they get to like juvenile, I let them gestate out here. There's actually a couple tech rexes that I raised right before uh, we came on here. And they just kind of, they can chill out here. I, I definitely tried to keep like the, the trees and the rocks in here. I wanted it to look like Jurassic Park as much as possible. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. 
Yep. So then you come back in here, and what I've done is, so you have to have, like, the room that you set them to wander in, right? So they can mate. So you I want made me to that come here. back in your boom boom room? Come back in the boom boom room, especially because you right. don't have pants well, on. That's like the only thing. Any advice, anybody that comes in the boom boom room, if you log out of the server, keep your pants on. Well, I mean, and don't forget to bring money. <laughs> um, so then you come in here. So this is the room we set to wander. So then what I did was, I have this handy dandy. Uh, why isn't it? Oh, it, what's going on? Out of gas. Right now, this you got tech right Out of gas generator. It should be powered. It says that it's powered. Why won't it fucking move? Oh, there it comes. I don't know why it wouldn't move. But uh so then that comes down, but since you're flying you, you get the general gist of it. But if you come up here, you'll see the reason why I have the elevator right there. So then what I do is I keep all my breeders up in this treehouse. Huh. And then all I have to do is when I want to breed something, I walk it right over to that elevator, drop it down, and I drop it down right into the pen that I'm setting them to wander it. I like this, uh, how you did and the treehouse. It has kind of like an Asian vibe to it, sort of, kind of. This was my this was my first attempt at a treehouse ever. The floor in this first one is fucking atrocious. Don't even, like, like you can look at it, but it's just, I had no idea what I was doing. Right, I people, was just this trying this one night. Atrocious floor. This is not here. how you, this is not how you do a treehouse, yeah. Now, what is this for? Again, is my this first for, attempt. like, um. That's sap. That's tree sap. Oh, okay. So you can make, I thought uh, maybe it was for sticking something recipes in. and stuff. Right. You can. I mean, that's where your mind seems to go. You can really do that to anything if you want to. <laughs> and this is just a ramp so you can get out. You can bring stuff in from the outside, too. The top one has uh, nothing in it, I don't think. And now that I saw how you did your octagon room, I'm really mad that uh, I didn't know all that stuff before because this was a pain in the ass just trying to get it to look like this. Like, it still came out okay. There ain't nothing in here. I left this one open for some it's, reason. It looks I don't know why. Up. It looks nice. It's pretty... Almost if if you really like look at it, it's like not that neat. But yeah, for sure. It's not that neat, but it's neat enough to the naked eye like where it. it's just... It's pleasing. Yeah, no, it came out okay. It's pretty sexy. I like that it's lit. Yeah, thank you, thank like you. Justin we talk about me, we talk about the so sexy back over here. I've brought it back. I am sexy. All right, enough of that. Go that Let's go this way. So back down here. Um, so yeah, so then we drop down here. So we did all that. So that's the breeding pen pretty much. Uh, so then, man, I wish fly mode was a little faster. This is also the first server I've ever used a tech generator on it. Holy fuck. Is a tech generator ever tech generator like the most amazing thing ever. Oh, it's awesome. No wires needed. No sloppy no wires. wires. Just put lights out in the fucking grass like I've done. Like to light up the whole property. Where are you? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, man, this place is huge. Uh, this is why I can't. If I if I black screen here, if I DC on here, if if I'm at my base, I'm fucked. Like I can't get back into the game. I have to have somebody physically fetch my body to move it, because just because the render is so crazy, it just shuts this dude's server right the fuck down. I don't know if this is anything special, but these are my. This is like the Quetz platform that I always do. Um. I like how I do this. This is my favorite part of this is the ramps that lead down. You know, when you're on a quetz and you get off his neck and it's like in midair and you have to like drop down on his neck to like mm -hmm. get like the, you know, I put ramps so there's no fucking that up. You can just jump right the fuck down there and it just, it, it works flawlessly. Like it really works well. And I do that. That's like my standard quetz platform. Oh, yeah. Quetzes were uh, uh, the go to animal. Back in the old days, on yeah. our especially, I mean, they probably yeah. still are, especially for like getting metal and stuff and wind of ramp and stand, now. weight, and you could put the anchor in the yeah. front and just mine metal, and it would 
not even wouldn't even count it. It would just be about how many slots that would fill up on Anki. It's it's like the dinosaur. It's it's you. That's you make the next evolution into your whatever. You, you always get a little better when you get a quetz. It's like the next thing you need. So I hit the I hit the fucking structure limit right here, and I couldn't finish. And it drove me nuts because I really like this water pen. This is probably the nicest water pen I've I've done in an uh, on an uh, on a server like this. But that really fucks it up right there. It's like right at the end. Uh, all pillared. Cool. All. All lit up. Um, like I said, I oh shit, I did just uh, a floor on the bottom to like Where's the to gate cap to get it in? off so nothing can get right here. Oh, I see it. All right, so you gotta go under. Right, right. there. It's cool. And I don't have a lot of water teams because I just I don't know I just yeah, don't. Yeah, you didn't spend that much time on the server. I have baryonyx and stuff like that, but I mean I don't really need to go under the water all that much and then uh, the last part which was a total add-on I wasn't expecting to do this but I did it anyway uh, where are you uh, slowly but surely coming out of water done done day is sta am I gonna oh it's gonna let me walk okay slowly but elevator. surely coming out of the water um. same way you came out the closet oh, I'm sorry that's hell then the way you showed me <laughs> the way you showed me. I'm glad we had all those long talks late at night. You really turned me that, on that to Boy George. I, I didn't think Boy George doorknobs. was any good. Yeah, and locks and all that stuff. But <laughs> again, that's for later. All right, come on. Get your Boy George enthusiast ass on. over here. Hey, Karma, Karma Chameleon. Yeah, I'm going to give you a Karma Chameleon. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that'll let you on the ride home. It's fine. Come on. Come on, Buttercup. There you go. There you go. All right. So this is the base of the elevator to my taming pen, where I would take scoop stuff up from my drag with my dragon. Uh, basically, this would be the bottom of it. Uh, we f go up here. Oh, you can edit that out, right? That's fine. Nah, I'm going to leave it in. That was a okay. healthy burp. I can do better. I can do better. But it, it was supposed to just be a platform. I don't know where you are right now, but you need to be with me. I'm just over here getting ahead of you. Looks good. This was here. supposed to be just a platform. You get a nice view of, like, whatever will render in for my base over the side. Uh, but what I really enjoy is... This down here, I made like just just cuz I don't know why I did. I just did it. Just made like another living quarter down here, and this one came out real nice. I I really enjoy this one. This is where I usually spawn out at. Not for any particular reason. It's just everything's nice and cozy and fits well. Like I like how I did this uh, chem bench over here. How it's like streamlined with the wall. Yeah, that was neat. new. Cause you can you can really you can really fuck with these things. Like I, there's still like, you could still make it look functional. You're not cutting off any of the shit that's on the countertop or anything like that. It just looks real clean. So this is just whatever. It's just a living space. There's a catwalk around the outside, but no real sense to it. Just other than it was just a space that I wanted to occupy. And then I just did like a hatch frame door and only split it halfway. But the reason for this being here is for this. And I have dubbed this the Maximum Security Attitude Adjustment Facility. There you go. So what I do is I get my dragon, I scoop up something I see, I something I want, and I drop it into either one of these holes, and then park the dragon, and then just run up here, and then trank it, and it's knocked out, and it's nice and safe, and, uh, you know, I tame it right here. Nice. Yeah, on official server, I built uh, something like this for uh, the community back in the day. Oh, hey, what's up? Look at this terror bird. He came right down here. He's albino. Where'd he go? Come here. Where'd you go? Where is he? I hear him. Where did he go? Is he right here? 
Come here, baby. Come on. Oh, you're all... Oh, what's going on? You're white, and you're a uh, 55. Come here, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come here. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, <laughs> moving on. Um... There's nothing else really here. There's a fridge here. I like, I use these Bigfoots. I don't know if you see these Bigfootses. And they have riot helmets on because, you know, they can wear riot helmets. They can wear all sorts of stuff. If you put gas helmets on them, they'll use them, though. That's what sucks. They look awesome with gas helmets on, but the gas helmets break because they actually physically breathe in them. Yeah, he's mugging me down. They look mean, though, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get some black ones, start baiting some black ones, stick that riot helmet on. So then, yeah, and then that's pretty much it. And then I just walk them out, and then I walk them onto the platform that we just came up on the elevator, and I drop them down, and then they go to one of the two pens. That's awesome. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right, cool. So we just saw Dub's whole entire base on this server. and I call it the Danctuary. There you go. We're not going to tell you kids what that means, so. But, uh, <laughs> I'll tell them. I'll tell right. anybody. So uh, I got yeah, I got kids to feed. Yeah, there you go. And uh, we're going we're going to do a one of his new base, which is you know it's in the works. Uh, looks really good though. Can't wait to show that one. We got a couple more art discoveries, and the last one I did was. Uh, of my friend's um, raccoons base, but it was more or less just videos. Uh, once his is done, I might do a walkthrough with him talking about stuff uh, if he wants to. But uh, till next time, thanks for watching and thanks for showing us your base stub. No problem. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, man. And uh, all right, y'all. Until next time, peace out. It's the Warrior C O T P. Coming out to play. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. Wah, 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 wah.